I'm Dan Johnson talking with Larry Mednick, who is revealing a whole new product for us. Now, in the past, 10 years ago, as I recall, so happy 10th anniversary, Thank you. Revo came out, short for Revolution, and it was kind of that in the trike world, or very much that. Then came Rev, your single-seater, and right. then came Rev Revolt, which yep. is your two-seater, the one off to my uh, left here. And now we've got, well, tell me what we've got, Larry. Yeah, this is the all-new Rev X, and it is uh, highly based off of the popular Rev. And uh, I think it fills a void somewhere between the Rev and the Revolt. And so a couple of just a quick recap about the Rev. It, it does basically three things. It folds up in six minutes. You can take it wherever you want to go. It's full suspension and it has no front strut while you're flying it. So those are kind of its three things. It's claim to fame. And although I've had some of the very best flights of my life have been in a Rev, uh, it's been out now for four years. I don't have that many hours in it compared to how many hours I have in the Revolt or the Revo. And the reason is real simple. Um, you take the rev out on a calm evening or a perfect morning. Of course, I don't get up very early in the morning, so calm evening. <laughs> and <I'm with> uh, you. <laughs> it's a it's a magical flight. It floats around the sky. It takes off at what feels like walking speed, and it's just an awesome experience. But what you don't necessarily want to do with the rev, and I tell people and customers that call and ask, is oh, I want to do some cross countries with it. Park it outside the restaurant while I eat my cheeseburger. I said, well, you know, if a, a gust of wind comes. Uh, you better tie that thing down. It's very lightweight. They're in the high 200. The rev you're talking the about. The rev, yeah. They're in the very high 200 pound uh, weight limit. And I usually suggest something a little bit heavier with a little bit higher wing loading for some of the purposes that people want to do. Now, if they say, you know, I want to take this, I want to fly around my farm, I want to take off out of my backyard and fly low and slow around the fields on a perfect evening, the rev has fit the bill. But uh, for the people that wanted a rev, but they also wanted more capability, and now we've designed it to do exactly that. Well, this machine I'm sitting in, which is fully loaded with a uh, parachute and everything, weighs uh, 410 pounds empty. Is that right? So it is okay. numbered here. And you do need a pilot's license to fly this version of the Rev-X. Sport X. pilot. License uh, is yeah, good enough. Sport yeah. pilot is good enough. We've done something else. We've reduced the size of the wing by 25%. Is that right? Yeah. So this is a 12.0 square meter wing. It has a 28 foot wingspan. And uh, this wing, uh, the wing on the ultralight is 15 square meters, or the 31 and a half foot wingspan. So we have much, Quite a much bit difference. higher yes. wing loading. It is. And yeah, so you had mentioned how this is such a lively performer, and we'll come back to that, but there's a lot of the explanation right there. You're making a lighter wing uh, on a very powerful aircraft, a single-seater with 65 horsepower. Is, well, why don't you tell me how it flies, Larry? Uh, yeah, we, t we uh, have told everybody that has test flown it, and we've had uh, several people fly it. Everybody's come back uh, with a huge grin, but we're telling them, push the bar out. Uh, ahead of time because by the time you add throttle it's ready to rotate and if you don't get the bar out within a second and a half two seconds you missed your rotation point you're too fast on the ground and it zooms really aggressively uh, uh, it climbs 1200 foot per minute <laughs> and that's at uh, under 40 miles per hour now when did this first take to the air Larry uh, it was actually just weeks ago I uh, just got uh, certified uh, actually last week I should say and uh, we've racked up uh, just uh, under 10 hours on it now, and it's performing fantastic. Having and several different people have flown it. Yes. And giving you some feedback on Absolutely. it. Absolutely. All right. Good yeah, stuff. So this wing is normally flown on the uh, Revolt at 1160 gross. So all that we really is did. Is that right? The same wing? Same wing. Um, it's not exactly the same in that this one has a little bit uh, uh, more flexible uh, leading edges, so it's a 750 gross wing specifically designed for this project. So the wing is a little lighter than the other one, even though it's the same size as the other Correct. one. Correct. So this would perform better, will generally give you better uh, climb performance and rapid turning and things like that, but won't go quite as fast. Are those correct. statements the, correct? The biggest limitation of the single surface wing is that they are slow movers and they don't have a wide speed range. We have a 28 mile per hour stall, we have a 40 to 45 mile per hour cruise, and around 58 miles per hour the wing is uh, giving you about all it's got. Yeah, that's you're pulled in and you're moving as fast so as you can go. So very limited there. speed range, but the handling of a single surface wing is arguably the nicest there is, and then uh, unarguably the foldability of the single surface is just absolutely the easiest thing there is. So I want you to talk about that, but let's back up a little bit in time to the Rev, which sort of introduced your foldability 
things. Let's start with the rev, talk a little bit about that, and then make a transition to this formulary. But basically, it folds exactly the same as the rev. Uh, so if anybody has seen the videos that we have showing how the rev is done, there is literally no difference in the way you would fold a rev or a rev X. Uh, this wing's a little bit smaller, so you're going to roll a little bit less fabric up, <laughs> okay. but that's about it. All right. And what kind of time are we talking about here? Still six minutes. Six minutes. Okay. Yeah, I've got some of my customers telling me they're at 12 minutes, and some guys uh, incorporate as part of the pre-flight and inspect the entire wing as they do it. I have one fella, he spends about 15 or 20 minutes on it. But again, he says when he's done building the wing, his pre-flight is also accomplished. Yeah. On the wing portion of it. And that's still it. a very short time, even with that extra duty. And... How about transporting it once you've got it folded, Larry? Talk to me about that. You know, a, a lot of people talk about, oh yeah, well our trike folds up, and, and they do, but this is a complete unit. It is a complete, movable, supported unit. So in other words, when you fold this machine up, there's no need to tie the wing up in the trailer or everything's supported and it has a special dog When it's bones. folded back, it's correct. still supported by structure in the trike. Exactly, Is that correct? exactly. And it uses this cart that's behind you uh, to do that. Yeah, so this looks like a sort of a strange little baby carriage thing or something. How does, what is, what is, all, what does someone do with all of this? Well, that's what makes the uh, magic happen. Again, in the video, you can see um, that this helps raise and lower the wing, but it also allows the entire unit to be moved once the wing is folded. Normally, with a trike, once you lower the control bar to the ground, it's pretty much stuck. And then if you don't secure the relationship of the hang block to the relationship of the control bar, the wing tips will attempt to fall down on the ground once you fold it. Yeah, so that's not good. The hang block is a very central component up here, and you would be stressing that by putting the, letting those wings fall to the ground. Yeah, so basically there's guys that have made different contraptions, to, and, and some of it works very well, but none of it is a complete unit that's self-supporting of the wings uh, for transport. Yeah, so... With this carriage done the way you specify, somebody could just roll it right into a trailer, secure it in the trailer. You still got to do that, of course, but but they don't have to like tie the wings up to the roof or something Correct. like that to make sure they don't overstress it while they're transporting exactly. it. Exactly. Excellent. Uh, now, we don't want to talk about specific prices, but the Rev, you could get in very inexpensively, less than $20,000 at the, at the sort of, I'll call it the entry level product. Take two, take two. Yeah. <laughs> So one Rev, for him, one for 21, her. Twenty-one thousand. Okay, and and this one is more, but it's still a good price point. Is that right? Yeah. So a Rev is very a la carte. If you want a digital uh, display on a Rev, that's going to be extra. If you want the seat cushion, that's extra. If you want the big tires, that's extra. So we allow people to price them out in the low twenties. But most people pricing out a Rev are going to be in the mid to upper twenties, possibly uh, just over thirty thousand with the parachute and all that stuff. The Rev X comes in with all of the options with the exception of lights, a radio, and a parachute at 33. And then when you add those other components in, oh, and a helmet, you're right around $40,000. Still a pretty modest purchase. You know, I know everybody's got different budgets, so I'm not putting anybody down if they say they can't afford that. But that is a brand new, ready to fly, high performance, for its type anyway, aircraft, that's a pretty special value, I think. And and loaded, and, and look at this thing. It's like all of your aircraft. They look just beautiful. Thank you. Wonderful hardware. And, these, these, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I could have think I have sunglasses on because this thing is so bright, I'd probably be half blind looking at it. So it's a very nicely attractive product. When, are, if I said I gotta have one, when could you deliver one to me? Uh, right now, we're about 12 weeks out on new orders. Uh, this one's already sold. Uh, we're building one at the factory now. A matte black one is coming next, going out to the Philippines, and uh, we've got a couple orders pending. So, all right, well, uh, 12 weeks, three months, that's pretty quick, that's pretty quick delivery on it. Uh, Larry, tell us where you're located in the U.S., and then we'll ask you for a web address. Okay. We're located in uh, Zephyr Hills, Florida, and uh, you can find more information about the uh, RevX and our other products at www.evolutiontrikes.com. Great. Uh, Zephyr Hills, Florida, for those of you not familiar with Florida, is kind of near Tampa, the uh, west side of the state. And uh, Zephyr Hills, very interesting airport, lots of sporting activity going on there. For so sure. They'd love to come and visit you if they had the opportunity, I'm sure. You can find more about the entire R line from <laughs> Evolution Trikes, the Revo, the Rev, the Revolt, and now the new Rev X. That and lots of other affordable aviation available on bydanjohnson.com.